Hey everyone, just wanted to come on here quick to show um, someone wanted to see my little um, you know, swatch wheel holder thingy. <laughs> What you want to call it? Um, this is for um, I think I'm pronouncing your name right. Is it K Lilia? Lilia? I think so. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm messing up your name, but um, she just made a video about um, one of her little swatch stands that she had gotten from eBay. What her? I'm sorry. Um, that she had gotten from I think eBay or Amazon, one of those, and um, like the bottom was plastic and this part was metal. And it was for those, um, the long ones that have the nail tips on them, the plastic ones, that you can put on like a, you know, one of those little stands or you have it all hooked up. I don't, I don't have them, so <laughs> I don't exactly know what to call them. But she wanted to see the one that I had made uh, a while back. I think it was like last year sometime. Because I didn't know what to do with these little things and they were always falling over. I have a whole bunch of them now, as you can see. For all my nail polishes and have a couple more now that don't have holes i gotta make holes with the drill but yeah hun this is all i did um i went to uh where did i go i think it went to two different places i got because this is how it is this is just a little wooden um stick dowel whatever you want to call it i don't even know if i'm even pronouncing that right but it's, it's really tiny as you can hopefully see I'm not entirely sure how big the holes on the bottom of your sticks are, but uh, I had the other part of this, but I threw it away. I would be able to tell you what the measurement was, but yeah, I just got this part at um, Michael's and this part at AC Moore because for some odd reason, Michael's was not having anything like this. Or was it the other way around? Oh my god, I don't remember. Yeah, I think I got the circle part at my um, at AC Moore's, definitely. And I just came home. See, I don't know if you can see any kind of identification or any kind of information on the bottom. Not really, just just a sticker. But as you can see, it's like a, about an inch thick. And I just kind of decorated with the glitter, all blue, because that's my favorite color. Yeah, and then just drilled not all the way through because you don't want to go all the way through just down pretty much to hold this sturdy as you can see it's not exactly a lot um really fun not a lot what in the hell there you go it's not a lot that i drilled down so all i did was drill with the same i try to measure up the drill bit with this and yeah you just kind of twist it in there it doesn't go nowhere and then I can just slide my little swatch wheels on them and you can do the same with your um, swatch stick things you just gotta find the right size of this little um, stick and the wood part and it's as simple as that and um, I think I paid a couple bucks for all of this, I mean, I have to say less than five dollars. I think this was like one something, this may have been like two something, maybe even three dollars. I don't really remember, but it was not expensive at all. I was, you know, just sometimes, you know, DIY is a lot better than, um, you know, I'm paying so much. That's the reason why I try not to go shopping on eBay or Amazon because something always looks so pretty and you're so happy to get it. And then when you get it, something's missing, it's broken. You know you can't use it or whatever so I try to make it myself so that you know if I mess up like I did my practice hand but I still use her and she's still good and she was you know less than $20 I think less than $15 for me to make so yeah uh, supposed to have been a quick video it was almost five minutes now but yeah hun, this is <laughs> this is my little swatch holder thing so yeah I hope you enjoyed my little video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye